Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nothing Virus YouTube channel. This is Neil Loganathan. On this presentation, I'm going to explain about the 30 basic orthopedic surgical instruments with the images. Standing off this orthopedic surgical instrument, go through with the general instrument on the suggested video link on my page. So here, the list of 30 orthopedic instruments I given. The cutting and dissecting, bone cutter, curved type, it is another name, bone biter or bone cutting forceps. The uses to cut the bone and cartilages, bone nippler or ronger, to cut through the small segment of the bone, straight nippler is used for the general surgery and curved nippler is used for the spinal surgery. There are the two types, there is a single action bone nippler or the double action bone nippler, Lampert ronger. To remove the bones or to remove the soft tissue from around the bone area, rib bone ronger or a rib cutter. To cut the rib bones, Kerison ronger. The other name it is up bite or the low bite. To remove the delicate bones, bone curity, bone curity. To scrape the bone or to debride tissue or to scoop the tissue. In the edge, you can see that small scoop for EC curity. Straddle bone saw used to cut the bones mainly in the amputation surgery. The serrated teeth you can see in that the straight line blade. Bone file to smoothening the rough edges or surface of the large bone. The flat end with the serrated you can see on the blade. Rasp. It is used for before that keeping flape or graft or prosthetic placement in the bones. To make the bone smooth and sharp plus surface for adherent to other materials. The rough serrated area you can see on the blade. Bone hook. To retracting the bone or heavy tissue. On the head you can see the sharp curved hook. And don't make confusion between the finger hook retractor and bone hook. Key periosteal elevator. To manipulate the many things in the surgical field and to clear it make the surgical site to become too easy accessible. Periosteal elevator. The other names are the Coop elevator, Little Joker, Chandlin elevator or Cushion periosteal elevator. To scrape and to remove the periosteum from the bone in the preparation for the bone insertion. Cooter elevator. The other names Kutal elevator, Virus elevator. Users to dissect the tissue from that bone and cartilage or to dissect the cartilage periosteum from the bone area on the picture you can see the round handle and the tear shaped tips on the both ends rib elevator the other names doyen rib elevator to scrip along the ribs to remove the tissue and cartilage the both side you can see right and left giggly shaw handle to hold the giggly shaw blades for the controlled serving of bone during the amputation. Wire blade to cut the small and large bone during the amputation. On the picture you can see the two handle and one wire blade. Arthroscopy shaver handpiece. It is ideal for bone side preparation, defragment of cartilage, osteochondrial and resection of osteophytes. Universal hand drill. The manual tool used to secure the screw and bolts and the pin and wire cutter. It is used to cut the wire and pin that are implemented during the orthopedic surgery. And retracting and weaving. Hips retractor. Retracting tissues for the either deep or superficial area and used in the large bone cases. The both blade end can be utilized. The one end become V-shaped tip. The end crescent shaped blade ending self retraining retractor or it is otherwise called as self retraining retractor to hold back the tissue and the muscle in the spinal and the neurosurgical procedure especially in the laminectomy ing lamina spreader used in orthopedic spinal surgery especially it can be placed between the lamina of the spinal cord Sovial nerve root retractor used in neurosurgical spinal procedure. The nerve roots need to be protected if they are within the surgical field and the retractor is designed to do the same work. The hook shaped tip you can see. 
Homan's retractor used in retraction of the soft tissue structure near the knee. The variety of knee surgical procedures it can be utilized. Binet bone retractor. The retraction of the bone during the surgery and the parts of the instrument you can see on the picture. There is a handle leaf shaped spoon like a structure. There is a downward curve and the upward curve and round tip you can see at the edge. The grapping and holding. The Dingman cartilage clamp to hold the cartilage during the surgery. On the picture you can see it is a slightly angled and serrated blade and the sharp teeth you can see. And don't make confusion between that coacher forceps and this clamp. When you are closing these forceps and the round gap you can see. Low man bone holding clamp or turkey clamp to grasp the bone to align it on the right fracture to compress the bone. On the picture you can see the bone grasping place on the top and adjusting groove at the bottom. Some of the additional instruments also can be utilized that are the bone chisel and osteotome. The chisel used to, to chip the bone and the osteotome used to cut and divide the bones. On the picture you can see the difference between the chisel and the osteotome. The one edge bevelled that is called chisel and both edges bevelled called as osteotome. The mallet, it is otherwise called as hammer. To exert the force on that particular object to drive a nail into the bone. To use the chisel or osteotome as a guide. The final one, depth gauge. To measure the appropriate screw length for the hole drilled in the bone. To secure the various plates used to repair the bone fracture. If the video is informative, you can like and share and comment my video. And don't forget to subscribe my page. On my next update, the ENT surgical instrument can be uploaded. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.